Well, Mark, that man was found right here behind me off of 19th Street, just yards away from Forest Manor Park and the baseball field. Now, someone who lives here at the corner of 19th and Colorado is the one who found the man today dead inside of that pickup. Homicide detectives tell us that he had been shot multiple times. Now, the man who actually walked up to the truck said he had heard a truck running overnight, but he didn't go outside because of fear of recent criminal activity. Activity in the neighborhood, especially during the overnight hours. He went outside after another neighbor noticed that the truck was stopped on that street this morning. Another neighbor tells me that they have been worried about increased drug activity and suspected prostitution in the area. It's concerned because I've lived in the neighborhood for 43 years, and my biggest fear is always, you know, maybe finding somebody, but you know, dead in the woods back here. Uh, sometimes we hear gunshots in the area. Now, neighbors tell me they did not hear gunshots overnight, so homicide detectives are still trying to figure out exactly where and when this shooting happened. And again, neighbors say that crime has become so frequent that they've even stopped calling police officers because they would be doing it all the time. But Metro Police want us to tell everyone, be their eyes and ears. If you see something, say something. Live on the east side near Forest Manor Park, not far from 21st and Sherman, Julie Persley, RTV6. And Julie, this killing is at least the 123rd homicide reported in Indy this year. We're working for you to make it easy for you to find more information on any of those homicides online. Our digital staff updates our interactive homicide map every day with the latest information for you. You can find the map on the RTB6 mobile app and at the IndyChannel.com.